The Amazon is the lifeblood of our last great magical forest, home to the last indigenous founders of the Americas, containing secrets of connectivity to a spiritual world most of us treat only as fiction. The mineral fresh water flows unabated, giving life to millions of organisms, plants, trees, and flowers that provide an infrastructure for a specific ecological chain unfound anywhere on earth. Not one man, one government, or one civilization should have dominance over her. For she gives her soul every day to heal, nourish, and breathe to all of us around the world. We the people owe our sustainable lives to this great forest, and we need to reconnect with our inner energy and stop at nothing to defend her, next to the men, women, and children that surely will. Hi, Mark Lassis, American in Brazil, reporting to you from uh, my little piece of paradise here in uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Taking a break or a pause from uh, adventure and exploration to talk to you about the battle being waged about 2,000 miles northwest of here <clears throat> on the Xingu River. The fight to stop the Bella Monte Dam. Now, this fight spans three decades and has been stopped at critical points along the way by some very passionate people. Well, our uh, esteemed president has greenlit the project once again on his way out the door. This will strangle the most important river in the Amazon River system. If you need to categorize needing a river, this is the most important. Home to over 40,000 people, more than half of which indigenous. Thousands of species of plants, animals, fish, and trees, and blah, blah, blah. You know the story, but I'm here to talk about a war worth fighting. And that's to save the damn river. Because if we allow this to happen, they're gonna continue to kill our waterways until we have none. You know, the Gulf of Mexico is dead, despite what you hear. I can provide 100, 100 different sites that have scientific uh, information about the core exit and why it was used and what it does to the oil. It's all at the bottom of the ocean. Killing the Gulf Stream right now in the North Atlantic. The Kalamazoo River is dead. The Yellow Sea of China, dead. When do we make a stand? When do we do something about it? It's amazing to me that we are still talking about and arguing about uh, hydroelectric dams, archaic in technology sense, because we have uh, the technology of uh, wind and solar energy. I mean, take wind, for instance. I mean, our, our planet spins pretty fast, it creates a lot of wind. We always have it. And solar, the sun, <laughs> it's powered our planet and given life to us for uh, billions of years. I think it can handle power in a couple of cities. And it doesn't take any money. We have enough money behind this movement. Oh, we got Sting, James Cameron, Bono. Oh, they got, those three together got half the money in the world. You know, it takes awareness. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Green, Labor Party here. It's about being on the right side of issues and, and getting back to being connected with each other, with nature, with our God. For me, it's the spiritual web that connects us with every living thing. It's pretty simple in my heart and my mind. 
You know, we talk about the children. We have to protect the children. What about saving what's, what's beautiful in our world for the children? Because there's going to be nothing left because it's getting murdered right in front of our eyes. Now let's stand up and do something about it and stop reacting, feeling depressed and sad every time we hear uh, of one of these uh, atrocities that happen or in fear of our health, of being attacked by terrorists. This is terrorism. So let's get some real people behind this. Call, email, call CNN, Planet in Peril. They'll tell you that uh, Planet in Peril is on the shelf right now. We'll take it off this shelf. Because Anderson Cooper was lied to down here. And let's get some freaking cameras on this. Because that's the only thing that'll stop it. Because I tell you what, the people that live on that river, they're not going. And they're going to fight to the death to make this, uh, this thing stop. And they can't do it alone. They need us. Nature needs us. The world needs us to stop talking about how bad things are and, oh, it's so sad. <laughs> no. It's time to do something now. Mark Lassis, American in Brazil. Ciao for now.